Hello everybody, Jurassic Player here, and today I'm going to be showing you the GBA emulator for the DS2. So as you can see here, the little GBA icon. Um, as for this plugin screen, this is Spinal, Co Spinal Cords uh, I Menu Beta 2. Um, when you get the chance, uh, tell them congrats or something, because uh, there was a little bit of drama earlier about him maybe stopping because some person was being an idiot and didn't read the first post like normal people usually should. <laughs> but anyways, um, he's still on track now. Um, he's going to be releasing Beta 3 when his website comes up or sometime around there and um, yeah support it because it's pretty awesome um and anyways so top screen you have no game loaded you can change the text uh, most of the words are uh, most of the words are changeable so it's all in a language file Anyways, uh, first off, I guess we'll start with uh, video and audio. So we have game fast forward, on and off, frame skip type, auto, auto or manual, and then frame skip level, it goes up to 9, and then the sound, you can toggle on and off the sound. It sometimes speeds up games. Um, it's not a definite thing. In tools, we have screen snap, bleh, screen snapshot. Um, we have keypad remap. Unfortunately, there isn't exactly a lot that you can remap. You can remap A and B to Y, and well, you can remap A. You can't remap B. You can remap the rapid to X or Y. And that's about it. Um, rollback, that's rewinding pretty much. Um, you just hold L and Y, and then you will be able to turn the sands of time and go back however long you hold it for up to one second I think and you just enable or disable that next you have save states um, you can write game save states read them delete them um, others you have CPU frequency um, that's the CPU frequency how fast the game runs um, it go it goes up to four so there are five different levels. Um, the language, you have the language choices of simplified Chinese, I think, and English. Um, and then it shows the SD card capacity, um, use default settings, and the version information. Um, just look in the cheats. Um, Cheat it shows the number of the cheats and then the cheat pages. Since I don't have any, you won't see any cheats loaded. And it goes up to page 9. Loading cheats, you just load it and then it brings up a file browser and you can search around for your cheats and load them. Um, exit just brings you back to the plugin menu. Um, Return brings you back to the game, which, since I don't have a game, it doesn't do anything. Restart just restarts the con the emulator's uh, game cartridge. So, pretty much it just restarts the GBA game. As if you power cycled it. And then, new! Which, you can choose to open up a new game, or your latest, latest recently played games which is a horribly worded phrase um so we'll just load up one 
it's pretty quick. Um, and there you can see it has loaded. It only plays on the top screen. Um, to get back to the touch, I mean, to get back to the NDS GBA menu, you have to either press X or touch on the touch screen or Y, depending on what you set it to in the uh, tools right here. Yeah, where it says awakening menu. Like so I'm going to change it to touch screen just to make it quick to get back to. And um, so let's try restart. And the top screen. It restarted. Woohoo! And touching the bottom screen, it brings us back to this. Unfortunately, this entire menu is not touch screen. No touch screen. But, anyways, so showing the save state, I have one save state. <laughs> so you can read this game save state. And it quickly loads back to the last place I was. Also, when you load a game and you have a save state, it will load up the latest save state and pretty much you can just play from there. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, I guess I'll show what the uh, stuff do. Um, let's see, uh, frame skip, no, that's not very useful sound switch so we'll just turn off the sound as you can see my volume is totally up and no sound is there because my sound switch is off if I turn it back on and then pressing B goes out of menus by the way if you are in a file browser menu like this one you have to press Y to get out of your file browser so as you can see here, I'm pressing B, it does nothing. But if you press Y, it exits out back to the loaded games and you can go back to using B. And of course, my sound is back because I turned on the sound switch. And if you turn on game fast forward, it, it instantly turns your frame skip level to level 9. And your sound actually gets turned off, although... It doesn't exactly show that it's turned off, but it is. So if we go back to the game, it's noticeably faster. See? Noticeably faster. And, uh... That's it. Um, return returns you back to the game as I told you before. Nothing amazing there. Um, restart. I showed you what restart does. Um, yeah, I've pretty much gone over all of it. Um, so I guess I'll just show you exit since that's the only thing I have left pretty much. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Anything else? No. Nothing else. Oh, by the way, CPU frequency, um, that's just, uh, I think I might have explained it earlier, I might have not. Um, but CPU frequency is just how fast the game, the CPU is going to emulate or something similar to that. Something to that extent. Anyways, um, so exit, just exit, and it will reset back to your plugin screen which in this case mine is iMenu so iMenu shows this nice little top screen and then loads up and that's it um thanks for watching and um uh pardon the interruptions uh yeah <laughs> i have a life so obviously uh, yeah. But anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope you will watch whatever other videos I come out with. And that's it.